So in this video, we're just going to be preparing a box plot. Now, you might have heard these called a box plot or a box and whisker plot. Uh, it's a really nice visual way of looking at the spread of data. Uh, so to start this, we really need a five number summary of a larger data set. So let's look at a five number summary. So there's our five number summary, minimum five, Q17, median 10, Q311 max 17. Now we're going to create our box plot. Now when we create our box plot, you just need to get the scale right. Uh, so it looks like the minimum is 5. Um, so I might just start at 0 there. And the maximum is 17. So on this side I'll put this up to 20, which means the middle is going to be 10, 15, and Five. All right, now I've got a nice scale there. I'm just going to use a different color to draw my actual box plot. Now, the way I like to start my box plot is with wherever the median is. So the median just happens to be 10. Q1 is 7, so 5, 6, 7, about here. Q3 is 11, here. Max is 17, 16, 17, and minimum is 5. And then we just put this all together. Here's our box. Here are our whiskers. Sometimes it's called a box and whisker plot. And uh, we can label all of this. So Q1, actually we should label it with the numbers. So 5. 7, 10, 11, 17. Now sometimes that's labelled that way, sometimes it's not labelled that way, it's just obvious from the, the plot. Okay, so there is our box plot using our five number summary, median, Q1, Q3, minimum, maximum. You can do it however you want, but that's what they end up looking like.